Okay, guys, and, and Nick, take a breath here, young man. Sky's the limit for Nick Wayne here, I can tell you that, guys. No question, I know it didn't go the way you wanted tonight, but my man, you got a great career ahead of you. Of course I'm frustrated I lost the match. But what I'm more frustrated about is why Darby Allen forgave A.R. Fox for what he did to me. Wow. I, Nick, Nick, Nick. Wait a minute. Stop, just stop. P please stop. I'm gonna explain why I forgave A.R. Fox. But let me tell you something real quick. Everybody, I've known Nick since he was eight years old. We've been through so much, Nick. We've been through so much. It's no secret his father trained me. I remember my first day of wrestling school, I saw you, Nick. Back when I was uh, 120 pounds, well, hell, I'm 125 now, but. <laughs> but let, let me talk to you, man. I'm gonna explain why. I forgave A.R. Fox. You know what happened between your father and me, right? You were there. There was a time I didn't talk to your mother, you, or your father for three years. I got in a big fight with him and I burnt that bridge. And before I could make things right, what happened, he passed away. And I have to live with that every single day, Nick. I wish I could have made things right. Air Fox is one of my trainers as well. And I refused to live with the hate. I had to let it go. I had to let it go. That's why I forgave him so fast. And please, I'm not saying you have to do it right now, but just find in your heart, just let it go, man. This Sunday, at All Out, I am fighting for the TNT Championship. And it would be an honor if you were in my corner for that match. Uh-oh. Here comes Father of the Year. It's the TNT Champion with Christian Cage. Luchasaurus, the champ, defends the title tomorrow against Darby Allen. Nick Wayne. It was rude of me last week to speak so much about your father when I forgot to ask what your mom's name is. Now, I couldn't help but notice her sitting at ringside. I know she's not here tonight, so it was a missed opportunity on my part. So perhaps I should just slide into her DMs oh, come on. and see if we can maybe change that. Now, speaking of your parents, Nick, did I hear you right, Darby? You didn't talk to Nick's parents for over two years? <laughs> so let me get this straight, Darby. Let me get this straight. Nick Wayne is your personal pity project? Huh? You're using him to justify to yourself that you're actually a decent human being? Maybe you should take after me because I don't pretend to be something that I'm not. You're not the champion, isn't he? Be quiet. Now, in case you forgot where we're at, Darby, we're in Chicago, Illinois. More specifically, we're in the United Center. And these people can smell a loser a mile away. I mean, this is the home of the Blackhawks, for crying out loud. And you, my friend, are a loser in life, and that will never change. Now, Nick, if I can give you any advice, it's this. Carry a towel with you to ringside 
tomorrow night at All Out because you're going to need it. You're going to need to throw that into the ring to stop this match. It's not going to be some back and forth technical classic. It's going to be a one-sided beatdown. It's going to be a one-sided bludgeoning. It's going to be a massacre at the hands of not just my monster, not just my right hand of destruction, but the most complete big man in the business today. And when it's all said and done, I, we will be standing at the top of the mountain and still the face of TNT now and forever.